Hi, my name's Glenn and welcome to Drawing using the Splat 3D Drawing Tool. Today's tutorial is inspired by the Newcastle Show. This is the classic Jack in the Box. Traditionally with this toy, uh, a clown head would spring out of the box when you turn the handle a certain amount of times. I thought it would be fun for everyone to design their own unique character as part of the exercise today. So grab a pencil, an eraser and a splat. Let's get started. Start by holding the splat at the top so that you can trace from those little dents all the way around the outside, as well as that line up the middle. Great, that's step one. There's the two dents. Slide it up until the tip is at the end of those lines and draw two more. Good, now rotate, line up the corners and draw in the far edges. That's how easy it is to draw a cube. Don't worry about those gaps because we're going to uh, round off all of the corners as we go around the cube now. That's looking really good. Place your pencil at that point and put the little dent on it. We're going to draw a lid. So trace one, two, three lines and Hey presto, that's a simple lid. If you wanted yours to have some thickness, then go from that point and on the splat angle, draw a short line. At the end of the line, place the corner of the splat and draw two more long lines. Almost there. We're going to fill in those gaps using the other splat angle. And we have what looks like a solid lid. We need some hinges now, and you can imagine that opening and closing. If you wanted this area to look like a hollow lid, then from that corner, draw a short line on the splat angle. Line up that corner with the tip of the line and trace two more long lines. Now we have what could be a tin hollow lid. Here I'm rounding off the corners a little to match the bottom. To make the box look hollow, just one line's needed. Next we're drawing on this face, but start by putting the point of the splat back in the original position and draw half an ellipse. An ellipse is like an oval, just half. With the splat back in the original position again, put your pencil on that edge and slide the splat in that direction, just a little bit and then draw a full ellipse. That's for the winder mechanism. Connect the top and the bottom to complete that object. So like a short cylinder. I'm putting a little dot right in the middle of that ellipse. Erase the back corner to leave room to draw the handle. Now for the handle, bring a line out on the splat angle and then drop it down by a little way. On the same angle as before, bring it out on the splat angle and this is called our crank handle. Now we're going to thicken up the handle by drawing a line each side. Let's just go lightly at this stage. So we're working away along the crank handle. Look at the shape of that ellipse. Copy the same shape but smaller at the start of the handle. You'll only need half an ellipse like that. Next we make the handle look like it's made for some bent rod by curving the corners, a little curve on the inside and a longer curve on the outside of each elbow. Good, now we'll darken that in. The lines that I erased before, I'm going to replace the splat and draw those in again. That's looking really good. I'm going to first draw the head of my puppy and then link it with a spring into the box. Start with an ear and then the top of the head come down and across for the nose. Loop back under for the jaw and don't forget those cute puppy dog eyes. Now it's time to join your character's head into the box. So we'll put the splat ellipse underneath and trace just half. Now move it down about a centimetre and rotate it slightly each time you move it. Keep going like that until you disappear into the box. So half an ellipse, slide and turn. 
Awesome. Some curvy action lines like this show that it's springing out of the box. Now choose the colored pencils or textures that you like and go ahead and color it in. Thanks so much for joining in today. I wonder what you'll design in your Jack in the Box drawing. Have fun, bye.